a tradition of excellence, dedication to family, commitment to community. For nearly a century, Ludkey Engineering has remained a vital part of the continued growth and sustainability of Frankfort, Michigan and neighboring towns in Benzie County. As a leader in marine contracting services in and around the Great Lakes region, the company set the precedence for designing, fabricating, and constructing over 850 projects, including bridges, docks, marinas, dredging, breakwaters, lighthouses, water intake pipelines, pile driving, and environmental dredging. Elroy Duke Ludke started on his path to success immediately upon graduation from high school. After spending a year working in an aluminum manufacturing company in Manitowoc, Wisconsin, Duke decided to pursue his degree in engineering at the University of Wisconsin and graduated in 1923. After taking work with several private contractors, Duke saw an opportunity to establish his own business in marine construction. And on April 25, 1930, he formed Ludkey Engineering. My dad was a good German-Prussian father. And everybody towed the line and did everything the way they wanted. But dad was always brought us up to believe, Carl and I, that we were the next generation taking over this company. There wasn't any uh, discussion about, are we going to do this, or what are you going to do uh, in life, or anything else. I was going to be the office man, and Carl was the engineer. And there wasn't any debate about what anybody was going to do. with this. this was the way it was going to be. And we were brought up that uh, one thing that uh, was concerned was about your family. And that was your number one concern. Number two was the Lidke Engineering Company. And uh, you will have to continue it on to the next generation, and now it will be the fourth generation to decide what they want to do. But uh, that was always ingrained into us that uh, this was a determination. There wasn't any any discussion or anything else. And, uh, I started working, I believe, when I was uh, 17. I first went out of town, but yeah, we started basically sweeping the floors and worked our way up. That was the the what was required of us if we were going to work in the company. We had to start at the bottom and learn it all. So, While family remains the foundation of the company, Ludkey Engineering believes part of the key to their continual success is the combination of qualified and loyal employees and a full complement yeah, of state-of-the-art uh, equipment. You can't say it enough, you know, the quality of our union employees that we've had over the years and you know their desire or their willingness I think because they have fun at work too they come back year after year and work for us uh, you know a lot of them are very skilled people they could go out and work for our competitors or go work for for somebody else closer to home uh, but uh, we do have a lot of Say very skilled, ethical, just fun people. I guess my philosophy has always been that uh, kind of anybody can acquire the equipment, but if you don't have the personnel that's qualified to run it, or that's that's kind of where the rubber meets the road, and that's where you become successful. So. We are the best. We're the best marine contractor. We're the best dredging contractor on the Great Lakes. Uh, you can ask any of our customers, from the Chicago District Corps of Engineers, the Detroit District Corps of Engineers, the Buffalo District Corps of Engineers, uh, ArcelorMittal Steel. I mean, we are the premier marine contractor on the Great Lakes and uh, because we do such good work. And I think a lot of our competitors also did good work, but they are all gone and a lot of them have gone out of business. And so we're the old line company that has set the bar, and now we have all these other new starts, 
companies that are trying to raise the bar and come up to our level. Over the years, the Ludke family has remained committed to sharing their success with the community by contributing to a variety of organizations and institutions. It started with my father, really. My father was uh, very dedicated uh, to, uh, he was school board, uh, president school board at one time, the, uh, the mayor, and uh, also the uh, they came to him when uh, uh, they were going to uh, build a hospital here, and they asked uh, some of the summer people came to, to, and asked him. And uh, Frankfurt wasn't even listed at uh, that was a Hill Burton, I think it was, act, right after the Second World War. And Frankfurt wasn't scheduled to get a hospital. We weren't even on the list. So any of the people came in, the, the summer people, and uh, were supportive and said, we should have a hospital here. So they said, would you take it over? And I said, and he said, well, yes, he would. And so he did. Uh, mainly, he got, uh, of course, most of his financial support came from, uh, uh, came from the Seabury's and, uh, and well, this Paul Oliver Hospital up here now, the Oliver family. and. Uh, a lot of people, you know, that uh, turned in with the financial support that they needed, uh, but uh, uh, he ran with it and he got a hospital built up here. And uh, whenever I travel, I like to go to museums or the, I'm fascinated with the history end of it. And so uh, I just feel that it's something that benefits our community and that, like I said, whatever we can do to help our neighbors out or our community out, uh, that's what we do. When I was approached last winter, I said, sure, well, you can sponsor us. Or, I mean, I didn't envision that it would be as big a fundraiser as it was, but uh, it just happened to work out that it looked like a good opportunity to help out the museum. And so hopefully it'll work out good for everybody. I'm sure it will. The history of Ludkey Engineering, their stories and artifacts, touch all of our lives. Join the Benzie Area Historical Society and Museum in preserving their contribution to Frankfurt's proud heritage. Join the society, tell a friend, or volunteer. Help us continue the Ludkey's tradition of excellence, dedication to family, and commitment to community.